I wasn't curating my, my decisions. It was just like, what are movies that made a really strong impact on me? These are all movies that have made a lasting impression on me. You've got a hell of a nerve, young man. Call me Snake. There are also movies that I've seen dozens of times, and those are the movies that you return to over and over again, where there's something familiar about them, they speak to you in some way that you want to check back in with them. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. The music in Hair is phenomenal. The ability that a musical has to tell a story in a different way through music and songs. I thought that was really a perfect illustration of that, and it's a great film. I got my hair, I got my head, I got my brains, I got my ears, I got my eyes, I got my nose, I got my mouth, I got my teeth. And I think what I remember as a very young child watching the movie is in a very, very powerful way how random and, and, and absurd it was that this young guy being flown all the way across the world fighting a war that he didn't understand. And as he's like marching onto this plane to be flown into war, the look of terror on his face has stuck with me my whole life. That's me! That's me! It's a movie that made a really strong impact on me. Escape from New York is sort of a dystopian future in which New York City has been converted into a prison. The movie is so brilliantly weird and dark and super cool. Snake Plissken, Duke. Something's going down, we need him. Snake Plissken. I heard you were dead. There's a famous scene where he's in the Duke's lair and Donald Pleasance is strapped and he's going, y'all the Duke, y'all A number one. It's so weird. It's filled with, with interesting offbeat cinematic stuff and great performances throughout. The Big Chill, it's a funny movie. It's got great performances. Kevin Kline, Glenn Close, William Hurt, Jo Beth Williams, Jeff Goldblum. For me as a kid watching it, it was an idealistic idea of what my adulthood could look like. That these were adults who were flawed and they were vulnerable, they were cool. For me, it was a sort of like, gee, I hope I have friends like that that I get together with and we all cook spaghetti and listen to Aretha Franklin and all that stuff. It was seeing this new generation of actors who were so contemporary. Again, just as like a young kid, it just really stuck with me.